I'm Mark Dresner, CEO InsiderTV.com, and today I'd like to welcome Mr. Mark Baum, CEO of Shrink Nanotechnologies, Inc., a public company based in Carlsbad, California, trading under the ticker symbol INKN.OB. Shrink Nanotechnologies is a research, design, and development company dedicated to the commercialization of nanotechnology-based products they believe represent a new low-cost alternative for semiconductor chip fabrication. Welcome, Mr. Baum. Thank you. First question, could you just give us an overview of Shrink Nanotechnology? Sure, sure. At its core, Shrink Nanotechnologies is a flexible, very low-cost manufacturing solution. And in a number of very large markets, uh, for example, the immunodiagnostics market, uh, the market really that involves any sort of transmission of information uh, or fluid, <clears throat> it is very, very expensive to uh, design and fabricate products in that market. And what we have come up with is a very low cost and very flexible platform to design things at the macro scale, at the larger scale, and to use the inherent properties of our unique nanotechnology materials to shrink things down to the micro or nano scale. And I'll tell you a little bit more about those specific applications as we go. Okay, that's great. To start off with, tell us about the company when it started. Uh, we know you're located in California, and, and when did you become a public company? We started our company about two and a half years ago. Uh, we were contacted by uh, a woman named Michelle Kine, who has subsequently won MIT's TR35 award for the technology that we actually are developing. And she said, hey, I have come up with a new way to make things that are very expensive and very difficult to make, uh, very easy to make, and very inexpensively. And we were interested. We decided to uh, talk to her, to put money in her laboratory, and to develop this technology further, and to ultimately get a license, an exclusive license, from the owners of that technology, which were the University of California Regents. So now, with that license, with the brain power of a TR35 award winner, we decided to start this business, and we ultimately became a public company just over a year ago. Can you tell, what is a TR35 award? TR35 is an award that's given out by MIT's Technology Review Magazine. And what they do is they scour the world, and they look for innovators under the age of 35. And when they did that last year, they found Dr. Michelle Kine, who is a professor at the University of California at Irvine. They took a look at what she was doing, and they said, of all the folks that we've looked at, we think that you are doing stuff that is so innovative, we're going to give you this award and call you one of the top 35 innovators under the age of 35. And she's still involved with the company, is it? She is our scientific founder, and we have a sponsored research agreement uh, with her laboratory, actually, and we funnel research dollars into her laboratory at the University of California at Irvine, and whatever intellectual property results from our investment, we actually have the first right of refusal to exclusively license that intellectual property. Right. And wh who's the target market for the products that you're developing? Well, the amazing thing about what she's come up with is that there are a lot of different applications for what she's done and for what we do. And the markets vary. And one of the markets, for example, is in the stem cell research tools market. So just like uh, during the gold rush uh, in the 1800s when people came west to find gold, uh, the same thing is true in the stem cell research market where now that Obama has lifted the stem cell ban, basically, you have researchers all over the world that are now discovering the next cures to some of the world's most dangerous diseases, and they're doing so using stem cells, human embryonic stem cells, and induced pluripotent stem cells, IPS cells. In order to do their research, just the same as 
a gold miner would need to mine for gold, they actually need embroid bodies or tissues or cells, and they need to grow a lot of them. Just like the gold miners would need picks and axes and Levi's blue jeans, for example. And what we sell is a tool like a pick, an axe, a shovel, that allows researchers in the stem cell research tools market to actually grow these tissues that they need in order to test their compounds to see whether or not they're effective. That tool is called Stem Disk, and that is a technology that was derived from the technology that Michelle came up with. That's one product in a suite of products that we intend to go to market with this year. This is the end of part one of CEOinsidertv.com's interview with Shrink Nanotechnology CEO Mark Baum. The entire interview is available at www.ceoinsidertv.com.